guys welcome or welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today i have a few products from double dip this was a pr package and all of these items were sent together we have some dip powders and some jelly tips so i am going to be showing everything that double dip sent over i just want to give a huge thank you to double dip for sending me these products i absolutely love them and could not wait to create a nail set with them so they sent over three dip powders i will be swatching them and they are on the valentine's day theme we also get some premium jelly liquid and these are for the new jelly tips this will be my first time trying this out and i absolutely loved it so much right here are the four bottles of liquid we get a protein bond a adhesive primer press on gel glue no wipe top coat and these are all 15 ml bottles which is very nice they are a big bottle and will last you for a long period of time I just went ahead opened it to see the bottle they are very nice and i just really liked these a lot they were very great quality and it comes with everything you need to be able to prep your nail to apply the jelly tips these are full cover clear 12 sizes and 300 piece and these are the long coffin the numbers for the nail tips are above on the thing which is nice and for me i am a size two for my thumb so just a rough estimate there i feel like my thumb is medium sized but not too large where i would ever really pick up a zero for my thumb these nails are very nice quality i like where the apex is and i just really like the quality of these nails the side profile is very nice and the nails are very sturdy and they have a nice strength to them where they are not bendy and all of that i went ahead and placed the size zero and you could tell it did have some extra space so i feel like these nail tips are a nice size range since i am a size two and would say that my thumb is about a medium sized nail plate they also sent over the mini lamp this is a touch a touch sensor six watt and it is great for travel I absolutely loved this little lamp it was so cute and it was different from the other little lamps that I'm used to I really liked it but the only problem was is I could not cure the nails in this lamp because the way you'll see when I open it up here it's kind of like an egg shape but only one side you can put your finger in and when I need to glue on the nail tips I need to be able to still have my other hand so I can hold on the nail tip or it will just fall off I hope that makes sense but this kit also came with not this kit this PR package I'm sorry included three different colors of dip powder I did get to choose these from the website and I went ahead and chose some Valentine's Day colors because I just love them so much. I'm taking my dip base and some swatch sticks and just applying the dip base to the underside of the swatch stick and I am going to be swatching all three of these dip powders. While I am swatching these dip powders, I did just want to mention some reasons why I love double dip. The double dip powders can be used as dip powders or acrylic powders, which I think is very convenient and nice that these can double over and be used as both. These products are also all cruelty-free products and not tested on animals, and all of the products are made in the USA. And when using the double dip powders, there is no need for a UV lamp unless you are using some of the other products that I am using in today's video, like the gel no wipe top coat. 
But if you were to decide to use just the regular dip powder top coat, you would not need to have a UV LED lamp, which makes it very convenient and super quick and easy to have a salon quality nail set. So quick and so easy and like half of the cost. So double dip products are very great and I will have all of these products linked down below because I do really stand by their products and really love them and recommend them to anyone. So here are the three colors of dip powder. Here is the underside of the colors and then on top I actually went ahead and used that gel top coat on the tops of the swatch sticks. And in today's nail set, I'm using Hot Stuff and Crazy For You because that hot pink and glittery pink just stood out to me and I was in love. So I went ahead, I applied my peel off base coat, and now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the jelly liquids. These liquids, you will need a UV lamp for the gel top coat, but the protein bond, you apply it to your nails and it will dry by itself. I am applying the protein bond on top of my peel off base coat because I did not want these nails to last. If you do want these nails to last, you will want to buff your nail surface, push back the cuticles, and then you'll want to apply your protein bond to remove any excess oils from your nail plate. You'll want to go ahead and let that air dry and then you'll grab your adhesive primer and also apply that to your nail plate. You can also take the adhesive primer and etch the inside of the full cover nail tip with this, kind of like a chemical etch. You can also go in with your e-file and etch the inside of your nail tips to make the product stay on longer. Now I'm going to be taking this press-on glue, which also needs to be cured under a UV lamp. And I am going to be applying this a small amount to my nail bed and a small amount to the inside of the nail. This product is very thick. I was showing it out of the bottle here just to show the thickness and honestly give this a 10 out of 10. It held these nails on and it was very easy to use. The only downfall was I did have troubles using it with the lamp they provided just because I needed to still hold the nail in place while curing. I couldn't just press on the nail and it would stay where I wanted it to. I had to hold the nail to be sure that it would stay and I wouldn't get any air bubbles. So I'm going to be repeating this onto all of the nails and I'm just going to be applying all of the nails the same way. This is a very quick and easy method and I absolutely love using full cover nails for dip powder. I just think it is so easy and convenient and you don't have to worry about the dip powder staining your natural nails. After I had all of the nails on, I did go ahead and pop these into my big lamp for 60 seconds and then I took my hand file and filed away the little top edge and now I'm just going in with my e-file. You can use a hand file or a buffer to do this but I'm just cleaning up around the cuticle area to make the nails a little bit more natural and then I'm also going to go in and buff the shine off of the whole full cover nail tip. In finishing removing the shine from these nail tips, I just wanted to say thank you for all of my new followers. I am currently at 985 subscribers and I could not be any happier. I am literally so excited right now that I am so close to 1,000. It has been my dream to hit 1,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel and I couldn't have done it without you guys. So thank you so much for all your love and support in the comments and for subscribing to my YouTube channel.
Now let's go ahead and move into the dipping part of this video. I went ahead, removed that shine, that way the dip powder lasts a lot longer, and I'm going to be taking the dip base liquid and just applying that to my full nail. At first I started by dipping because I thought these nails were short enough to just dip, but sadly they were not. I should have clipped them down in the beginning. I wasn't thinking. I wanted to do shorter nails in this video just to make it a little bit easier on me, but I did forget and I ended up having to pour over the dip powder. You can see here, oops, <laughs> it was too long still and I just had to end up pouring it over, which was kind of a bummer because I just wanted to dip, but that is totally okay because these nails still turned out super cute, and I was in love with this hot pink color. It was so bright, and it like stood out. It was like so gorgeous and like perfect for Valentine's Day. And I just used both this hot pink and that glittery pink shade, and I just kind of like went and mixed it up on the nails, this was a very simple nail set. I did add on some stickers and a little fluffy heart in the end just to bring it to life a little bit more. But I feel like the nail set would have went fine without the stickers and the fluffy heart charm just because these dip powders were so gorgeous and so highly pigmented and I just really loved them. And I also wanted to mention that I am beginning to like dip powders a lot more. I know that I've said in previous videos that I don't really like to use dip powder, but really I've been growing to like them. The only thing I don't like about dip powders is the powdery feel. But I feel like that with everything. For polygel, for instance, I don't like the sticky feel. But I just feel like I can't get rid of the powdery feel. Like once like that's why I wanted to try to dip these nails because I feel like doing the pour method, it gets a little bit messier as you can tell by my table continuing to fill up with the powder. But overall, I feel like I'm starting to really like dip powder. It is very quick and very easy and I just feel like it is great for beginners. I know that I started off with poly gel, but if you are a beginner and wanting to start doing your nails at home, I highly recommend trying out dip powders and I just, I don't know, I just think they're very easy to use and I wouldn't have thought they're so easy, but if you apply your base evenly on the nail and only keeping it on the nail, you really don't even need to do much filing at the end. So I feel like dip powder is very beginner friendly and easy to do. It just takes a little bit of getting used to and getting the hang of using the product. So I went ahead and applied two coats of dip powder. I know I was talking throughout the whole process, but it's pretty self-explanatory. You just apply the dip base and then you dip or pour over the dip powder. And then you go in with that same step to build up the nail. I did two coats and then I let that dry and then dusted away any excess powder. And now I'm just going in with my activator. I always thought you had to go in with activator in between your layers, but I actually found out that you do not have to do that and it will just seep through. After I let my activator activator dry for two to five minutes. I'm now going in with the top coat and this is a gel top coat so you will need to cure it in a UV LED nail lamp but if you don't have a UV LED la nail lamp you could always just use the dip top coat that dries by itself but in my personal opinion, I do like to apply a gel top coat just because I feel like it looks a lot smoother, shinier, and I feel like it just gives it some extra strength. 
After that is cured, you could stop right here and have a very gorgeous Valentine's Day nail set, but you know me, I have to go a little bit extra and add on some nail decor. I grabbed these heart stickers, which are from one of the McCart decor kits. I just really loved the white heart stickers. And then I also purchased these little fluff hearts from Amazon, and I decided to pull out the white heart. I was thinking that I could just draw on some white hearts, but I wanted to keep it simple and beginner friendly, so I did just use the fluff heart and the heart stickers. I'm using the McCart rhinestone glue to cure down the little magnetic piece. I've also got a question about how well these last. And honestly, I do not recommend these hearts to anyone other than if you are just creating content or creating like Instagram photos. I just, these do not last at all. The little fluffy heart falls off anytime I put on a hoodie, anytime I get up from my nail chair. It just seems like it doesn't want to stick. The magnets are horrible quality and the heart just gets caught on everything and it just rips right off. So I do not really recommend the heart other than if you just want it for picture purposes or just to look cute for a little bit, but I feel like if you would wear this for a long period of time, it would definitely get lost or just fall off. After applying the heart stickers, I did go in with another gel top coat on those nails and cure for 30 seconds. And then I'm just going in with my cuticle oil here and rubbing that in. And then after that's rubbed in, I'm going to place on my little magnetic heart and the set is complete. This was a very simple Valentine's Day nail set, great for beginners super beginner friendly. It was very quick and easy, very few steps with the dip powders, and I just love Double Dip. I love their products. They are so pigmented and unique and just very convenient and easy to use. They are also very inexpensive, and I also have a discount code for you guys, so you can save a little bit more off your purchase from Double Dip if you do decide to purchase anything. All of the products I used, I will have linked down below. Overall, I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching me create this nail set, but but as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.